All right, hey y'all, what's up? We're back in the game. This is Black T, and the sun was just going down when we left. I'm going to sleep. Well, I guess once it gets a little bit lower, it's a pretty sweet valley there. I'll have to go explore it later. Um, I was playing Minecraft last night with my brother on my server. And he's brand spanking new to Minecraft. I got him the game yesterday. Um, and I realized how much there is to learn um, in Minecraft. And how if you're new to it, there's there's a lot of stuff that isn't explained at all. He's like, well, all I gotta do is punch wood, right? And I mean, I guess that's basically right. But there's a lot more to it. Um, so I'm going to try and explain more and, and better on what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So here I'm just getting more wood. <laughs> uh, first order of business is to make a better house. This thing looks terrible. Terrible. So I think we're going to do that and then we're going to get some food and get a good source of food. Um, sustainable food. I'm all into sustainability. It's not true at all. Alright, so I'm going to extend this out a little bit. This is way too cramped. So we're going to make this bigger. Oop. Um, see, okay, well here on this edge, uh, falling is a super real possibility and from this height I might die. So what I do is I use shift or the sneak command um, and that way you can go right up to the edge. I'm just I'm pressing forward all the way and you won't fall off. So that's a real good way to, to build things out um, or to build things where you really probably shouldn't be walking. So I'm just kind of giving this... Ooh. You always want to be careful though too because if you do anything like go into your inventory when you're out here like this, you'll drop. Um, so you really want to be careful. That is if you don't want to die. Um, oh yeah, that's what I should do. I need to sleep and leave my bed down. Um, and the reason why is because when you die, um, which will happen, you go back to spawn. So you go back to where you started and if you remember, well, if you watched my first episode, it took a little bit to get here and so, I mean, it, it, it's not super far and I'm sure I could find my way back, but um, what would happen is if I died, I would spawn way back over there um, where I first started and would have to find my way back. But if, if I sleep in a bed um, and leave the bed down, then it will respawn me back in my bed. It will reset my spawn point. So then if I die, I'd respawn right back into my house. Which is better because sometimes at night when you're out exploring, you get blown up by a creeper. And... Um, all of a sudden you have to make your way back to your house at night with no light and uh, it's really really annoying I'm leveling this out here because um, I hate the way this kinda looks plus I'm gonna build a I'm gonna build a little farm so kinda want an even surface for this and then I gotta make maybe a better way to get up to this area because hopping up those stairs is kind of annoying so I'm gonna make kind of a staircase stairway to get up here Oop. there we go this shell is probably gonna break here pretty soon the lifespan of uh, I think that's the sound of a dungeon I'm not sure oh, shoot Alright, well I'm gonna go make, let's see, I'm gonna make another one here. Just because it's so much faster clearing stuff with shovels. 
than it is clearing with um, my fist. My dogs are squeaking again. That's what they like to do. They like to squeak and they like to bark. They bark at the mailman. They bark at random people who walk by the house. They're annoying. They're both uh, terriers. And if you know anything about terriers, they're just like crazy dogs. So that's what they are. And they, they like attention. So if I'm doing something else, they're gonna try and get my attention somehow. All right. So let's let's make a better way of getting up here than this, because that's that's dumb. Um, and we're gonna do that after we get this coal. So I'm gonna go over here and grab this coal. I'm gonna pick up some of this stone on the way because that's what we're gonna use to make stairs to get up to where my house is at. <clears throat> Alright. Um once we start a mine, which we'll probably do that here in just a little bit too, um, but once you start a mine, um, there'll be tons of coal. And sometimes people, well, I, uh, would just start like passing up coal and not even like getting it because there's so much at times. Um, but the thing is that you can never have enough coal. You're always going to want to cook stuff. So... Let's see, here we go. All right, well, I got, I got 22 cobblestone, which is a good amount, especially for the stairs that we're going to make. So I'm going to run back over here to my chest. And if you take the cobblestone, and you can do this with cobblestone, you can do it with wooden planks. If you put uh, your cobblestone into a furnace, it turns it into smooth stone. Um, and you can do it with that as well, I think. So and you kind of make a stair shape here, and then you get four stairs. So six cobblestone equals four stairs, which I don't know that that's the best trade in the world, but for what we need it is. All right, so I got my stairs. Now i got to get this to where I can just get up here pretty easy. Let's see. I'm going to make it kind of like a dual thing. So here I'm just going to lay this out. Oop. This will kind of be my landing area. Okay. Cool. So now I'm going to take my stairs and plop them down. There you go. Uh, shoot. Two more. Perfect. Perfect amount. Knock those off. Here we go. So it's a lot easier to get up and down here. Grab that up and plant them again. And one more there. Alright, now to finish up this house, I am going to need more wood. Um, Alright, we're going to go there. Ooh. Um going to make a doorway and a door yeah I can make a door it's gonna take six of these wooden planks to make a door you put them like so and there's a wooden door and now with doors um, they're connected to the bottom um, tile right here so if I put the door up and destroyed the whole frame, the door would still stand there. But if I destroyed this, the door would pop off. So here, you can you can either attach the door to the inside, like this, or doo -doo 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 -doo. you can attach it to the outside, like that. Um, I like having it attached to the outside. There's really no reason other than aesthetics. There it is. And I am totally out of wood. Um, I think it's been about 15 minutes so far. So I'm going to wrap that up here and then continue on with my next episode where we finish my house. All right, y'all. Peace.